You see? I see, and I, I see that I've got a lot of understanding yet to achieve about how my physical aspects are related to my non-physical aspects. I've had a very physical focus. Well, it is not our wish that our message to you, our clarification about how the universe works, puts you in a position of saying, I've got a lot of work to do, or I've got a lot of undoing to do. It is our desire that wherever you stand, that you feel uplifted by the knowledge that from where you stand, you're still launching rockets of desire. And every one of those rockets of desire is understood and being received by the larger part of you. And that it is not as difficult as it might seem to find vibrational alignment with the desire instead of with what is. But what trips so many people up is that they don't even realize that giving attention to what is just perpetuates more of what is. And so we come along and we want to explain to you that what has manifested has been in the pipeline and been in the works for quite a long time and really once it manifested it is very much old news but it doesn't feel like old news to humans because you can still see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it so you call it now and real and active and now and current and we see your point we get why it seems current to you but it doesn't seem current to us because it has been in the process of becoming for such a long time and there are other things that are in the process of becoming that your attention to what you believe is reality prevents you from experiencing the things that are in the pipeline that could be different in other words you get what you think about whether you want it or not and things are changing constantly but for most people because they are so embroiled in what is for most people the things that are changing constantly are just changing to more of the same when the same is launching rockets of improvement which you could be moving toward if you just understood that you see